It is the stuff kings and queens are made of, a truly noble substance from which only greatness is bred, the food of the gods. I of course speak of royal jelly. All bees more or less embark on their journey of life the same, as identical eggs laying side by side in individual hexagonal cells. But the pampering begins early for a future queen bee, with the construction of her very own crib or queen cup. Normal larvae are only rationed small amounts of royal jelly before weaning off onto honey and pollen, but in the luxurious holding cell of a potential queen, the larva is bathed in royal jelly to continually feast on the divine substance for an extended period of time. This abundance of special nutrients is responsible for her development into a sexually mature queen bee, whereas all other peasants beneath her emerge as sterile workers. It is good to be queen. So good, in fact, people are after her royal jelly and harvest this special fluid to produce skincare products and nutritional supplements. Once again, thanks for tuning in and giddy up.